What is going on comic book fans? Before we get into today's comic book speculation recommendations video, I have some exciting news. We are on Whatnot, Whatnot? That's right guys, we're gonna have our first sale hopefully next week with a lot of awesome keys for you guys. So make sure to follow us on Whatnot. Our screen name is right here. So that way you guys are notified when we are going live and also that way you guys can preview the books that are gonna be on this Whatnot sale and there are gonna be some good ones. And these are books that you can have. All you have to do is bid on them and win them. All right guys, no more from me. Let's jump into this week's comic book speculation recommendations video. What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce. It is Wednesday, February 9th of 2022. It is new comic book day, the best day of the week. And while you guys are out picking up your new comic books, I have already started digging in, figuring out what you guys should be considered for speculation for next week's final order cutoff in new comic book day. That's right, today is another episode of comic book spec speculation recommendations i'm so excited there's some really good books both on foc and there's not so many on new comic book day for next week but guys foc has some decent ones to talk about so let's not waste any more time and talk about why i do this video here today you guys probably know just by the title of this video that this is all about speculation. That's right, guys. I look off into the future at Final Order Cardoff in New Comic Book Day of next week. I look off into the future so this way you guys have enough time to put in your pre-orders for your Final Order Cardoff books and to also to call your local LCS and tell them, hey, I was watching Bruce and Stephanie Comics comic book speculation recommendations video. I like what he had to say. I did my own research and I would like to pick up a couple extra copies of these books because I would like to start and make this hobby fun itself. All right, guys, now before we get into the actual speculation for today's video, I need to put out my big disclaimer with my two reminders that I tell you guys about each and every single week, and these are very important to me that you guys take these very seriously. So the first reminder will always be, guys, you have to do your own research. So. I am going to tell you guys about some books that I think has decent speculation in today's video. But what you guys need to do, because this is speculation, and what do I say? Speculation is at best educated guess. So what you guys need to do is take what I say in today's video and go check other comic book YouTubers you trust, other comic book websites that you trust, and other comic book apps that you trust. Gather the most information possible so that way you guys can make the best decisions possible for yourself because you guys are spending your own hard-earned money on these books. Not my money, your money. All right, guys, my second and final reminder that I have for you guys is that there are delays which will affect both final order cutoff and new comic book day spec, which means I will speak about a book multiple times if the book is delayed because it will show up on final order cutoff multiple times and also show up on the new comic book day spec section because that book was delayed for one reason or another. Now, those are all my reminders. Let's jump into all the books that have speculation coming up on this week's final order cutoff. All right, guys, now that we're back up in my comic corner, we're going to go over all the books that have speculation coming up on this final order cutoff, which is February 13th, your DC and Scout books, and February 14th for your Marvel and all the other indie titles. Just in case you guys have never watched one of my comic book speculation recommendations video, I need to let you guys know that we always start these lists off with my cover lover picks. These are my picks based on the cover alone, and I think these books might do well on the secondary market just based on the cover. So the first book up is Detective Comics number 1056, this C cover, which is done by Puppeteer Lee. This is based on the Batman movie that is coming up. I don't know why I did air quotes, but I think this cover is absolutely fantastic. Puppeteer Lee is such an amazing artist. All of his books really do well on the secondary market. I shouldn't say all, most of his books. And I think this book will do well because it is just so stunning and fantastic. The next book up, there's actually two covers and they're very similar, but they're based on a Batman meme that's been going around for a very long time. This is Batman Superman World's Finest number one, the one in 25 Chip Zdarsky Batman slap and Superman slap cover. I think these are fantastic. And there are some meme lovers out there, guys. Stephanie loves memes. Loves memes more than anyone I've ever known in my life. And I think these covers are amazing and right up her alley. There's one more book that I think you guys might want to consider based on the cover alone. And yes, all these covers are DC. It's crazy. I know. I think this is like the second or third week in, in a row. I've only put DC books on my cover lover section. But guys, this Catwoman Lonely City number three, the C cover, which is the one in 25 any woo cover is 
gorgeous. It's fantastic. And Catwoman always does well on the secondary market. I think this book could do well, which would be really cool because it's one of those prestige format covers, which is extra large, which would be extra big on your wall. I think all the covers on this list could do really well on the secondary market. But guys, you guys let me know down in the comments below which Marvel or indie cover did I miss that I should have put on this cover lover section. All right, guys, it is time to go over every single book on Final Order Cut Off that has speculation. Now, I want to put a big caveat out there that I am not suggesting you guys pick up every single book on this list, but I'm giving you all the books that have speculation because there is not a list on the Key Collector app for FOC that covers every single book. So what I'm gonna do is give you the information and at the end of the list, I will give you my final order cutoff pick of the week, which is the book that I think you guys might wanna consider picking up extra copies of for speculation. All right guys, let's not waste any more time and jump into this list. All right, the first book up is Batgirls number four. This is the first appearance of Spellbinder, a villain. Next up, Naomi, season two, number one. This is the premiere issue of the second six issue series featuring Naomi. All right guys, the next book up is Amazing Spider number 88, the second print. This is the first appearance of Queen Goblin, Ashley Kafta. Next up, Avengers number 54. This is the possible reveal of the identity of Avengers Prime. Next up, Carnage number one. This is the premiere issue of a third solo series for Carnage. Not really all that much of a spec on that one. All right, guys, next up is Little Monsters number one. Now, this is a book that I put on the list. This is not on the Key Collector app as a key, but I think Jeff Lemire is an amazing writer. He wrote Sweet Tooth, which was an amazing series on Netflix. So I think you guys might want to consider picking this up because it's by Jeff Lemire, but it's not on the Key Collector app. It's on the Bruce app. All right, guys, next up is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 127. This is the first appearance of Dr. Jasper Barlow, a character whose intentions towards the turtles are unknown. Next up, TMNT Last Ronin number five. This is the final issue of The Last Ronin. Next up, We Live Age of Paladons number one. This is another book that the Key Collector app did not have down as a key, but I think it is a book that you guys might want to consider. Last but not least, this is Wolverine Pitch number one. This is the five issue limited series written from Larry Hama, which takes place prior to Wolverine number 31 back in 1990. This also has the first appearance of Carnsey Beth. All right guys, now I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna come back with my final order cutoff pick of the week. All right guys, so I have two books for my final order cutoff picks of the week. And the first book up is We Live Paladins number one. Now the reason why I think you guys might wanna consider picking up extra copies of this book is because that first series was a smash hit. Now it was kind of a sleeper for a little while and then once people realized how good that series was, People were craving that series. Now, the series is still doing really well on the secondary market. That issue number one is going for around 25 to 40, and that issue number five first print is going for about $60 raw. So that's how hot the series is. And guys, this is the start of our new arc. We're gonna get first appearances in this first issue. Enter to Bruce, jumping in here, guys, with something I forgot to mention besides the first appearances, is that We Live Age of Paladins is actually gonna be two separate books. There's gonna be We Live Age of Paladins White and We Live Age of Paladins Black. We're gonna get the perspective of two different sets of paladins, which is stinking cool in my opinion. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. The one problem I see is that this series is already hot, so there are gonna be more people buying in at the beginning, but with the first appearances, and if this book does get optioned in the future, this book is gonna do really well on the secondary market. So this book might be a little bit more of a long hold out of the gate, but I can see this book in the future doing really well. And speaking about long-term holds, I think Little Monsters number one is a great book to consider picking up extra copies of because of the writer, Jeff Lemire. His series, Sweet Tooth, if you guys haven't seen it on Netflix, go back and check it out. It is amazing. And all the books that I have read by Jeff Lemire are fantastic, especially his creator owned. And this follows a group of children, which are the last children on earth, which are vampires, which is amazing. And it's with his buddy, Dustin Gwynn, and Dustin Gwynn's artwork is fantastic. Just think of Descender, Ascender, and other books that they've done together are just all fantastic. Now this to me is definitely a long-term hold. I'm probably gonna pick up four or five copies of this book and just hold on to them and see what they do in the future. Maybe it doesn't blow up right away, but if it's anything like Descender, if you guys hold on to this book long enough and it does pick up a little bit of a following, you guys could sell these books for additional profit in the future. 
All right, guys, before we dive into my new comic book day spec, I want to remind you guys that you guys should have the Key Collector app already downloaded on your phone, and you should be paying for the subscription, so that way you guys have access to the section Future Keys, because Future Keys is an amazing tool for speculators like myself, because the Key Collector app puts together a list for me of all the books that have first appearances or origin stories, awesome variant covers, and anything else a speculator like myself might need. Now, it doesn't have everything. You still need to go out and do your own research but this is a great app to at least get started on your journey of speculation for new comic book day spec we are about to dive into my new comic book day spec picks for february 16th of 2022 now you guys are probably wondering what are your cover lover picks for next week's new comic book day i have two books that you guys might want to consider picking up extra copies of Based on the cover alone, and the first one up is X-Men number eight, the Russell Darman trading card variant. Now, this is very much like the action figure variants, but it's a trading card variant, and it features Wolverine. This is a really cool stinking cover, in my opinion, and it's gonna hit that market for those people who love the action figure variants, which there are people who love to collect those type of variants, and I think this is perfect for them. So pick yourself up a copy of this book and see what it does on the secondary market. It might not be a hit at first, but hold on to it long enough and I can see these doing really well in the future. And this next one might be a little bit of a stretch. Maybe this belongs more on my must-have pickups for next week. But guys, I think this cover is really cool. And it's going to hit home for a certain demographic. And that is Devil's Reign Superior for number two, the Super Log variant. I think this cover is absolutely stunning. It is really freaking cool looking. And I think it's going to hit home for a certain demographic of people who collect variants like this. I haven't seen many like this, and I think this is stinking cool. What do you guys think? Am I reaching on this cover? Is this cover just going to fall flat in its face and not do well in the secondary market? You guys have to remember, this could be a long-term hold, but guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Is this worth picking up extra copies of, or should you just pick up one for yourself like me if you just really like the cover? So the Key Collector app has 22 books that have speculation. These include variant covers, this includes five second printings, and also five first appearances, but out of all those books, I really had a hard time narrowing down what book I wanted to pick because I almost didn't want to pick any books, but I did fall on one book, and that is Iron Fist number one. Now, the main reason behind this is because someone new is picking up the mantle, and that person is going to be of Asian descent, which I think is key for the MCU because I know they want to diversify their cast of characters and not just have all generic white men like myself in the roles of superheroes. So, if you want to reintroduce Iron Fist because there was that Netflix series that was god awful, don't watch it because it's not watchable, but you introduce him as a Asian descent character, and I think that would do super well, A, for the character, for the MCU, and also for this book. So, that is my pick. Iron Fist number one. There's also some cool variants for this book. I'll make sure that I put them up on screen. But guys, that is everything for this week's comic book speculation recommendations video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Hit the bell for notification and smash that like button. Helps the algorithm, helps me get out to more people. But guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, I would like you guys to take a minute and let me know. Do you guys agree with the spec that I talked about in today's video or the books that I suggested to you? Do you guys disagree with me? And that's where you guys can really help me because again, I am just human. I have my own opinions and sometimes my opinions are wrong. You guys can help me be a better speculator by letting me know if you guys have a different opinion and also just detailing what that opinion is and what that book you think I should consider picking up extra copies of. All right, guys, thank you guys so much. I will hopefully have a new video for you guys on Friday, maybe even two videos on Friday. They'll be shorter videos, but one will be a review video and one will be my whatnot launch video. That's right, guys, I'm on whatnot. All right, guys, have a great week and I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.